Hey guys, I wanted to do another video. This was requested. It's actually one of my most popular videos on this channel. It's a tour of the pet room. So I'm going to start down here in the basement bathroom where I give all of the dogs their baths and then we'll move into the main room. Alright, if you're interested, please stay tuned. Here in the bathroom, I have a utility tub that I got from Ace Hardware. And this is just where I bathe all the dogs. They all fit in it really nicely. Okay, so here in the corner, I have um, my hamster, Marshmallow. And in this larger bin, I have all of the supplies. And in this container is the sand for her sand dish. I didn't really have anywhere to put the large collapsible soft-sided crates, so I just put them on top here for right now. Right when you first come into the pet room, I have the um, extra beds here and then Coco stroller. I also keep two small metal crates folded here. These two drawer units um, stacked on top of each other. The bottom one, I have all of their food dishes in it. There's just spoons and can covers, can openers. And here are um, Coco and Bailey's bowls. And here are um, Bam Bam, Yogi, and Cupcakes bowls. And this unit here with their pictures on it are the boys' um, winter clothes. So I just have some stuff for Cupcake. There's sweaters and his little coat. And then his um, really cold weather parka. For Yogi, um, the same thing. His outer coat and then some sweaters and fleece jackets. And for Bam Bam, there's his big outer coat and then his um, fleece underneath. On the top, I'm storing the food trays and they're just in this pot lid holder to keep them upright. On these larger cabinets here, I'm storing the bath towels. The box on the right is where I keep um, memorabilia for pets that have passed away. And the smaller box is um, baby stuff that I have from the dogs. Then I just keep a pen and a Sharpie down here and a piece of um, a pad of paper. I have bow bags and poop bags and poop bag dispensers. And then old um, tags and tags that are new that I haven't used yet. And then wheels and other little tools like Allen wrenches and stuff like that. Here in this bottom shelf, I just keep um, some breed books and grooming books and veterinary books. And then in this box here are old records. On top of the second cabinet, I keep um, smaller hand towels for cleaning up messes. And in the pink box is where I keep the um, car seat covers. So I have two, so one is in the car and then when that one gets dirty, I wash it and then put the other one in and I just keep switching them. I used to keep the leashes in one of those drawer units. Those sterilite drawer units but I moved it into here because all the other leashes and collars were in here as well so now their stuff is in these um, matching baskets so we just have Bam Bams and Yogi's and Cupcake and Bailey now Bailey's basket is empty right now because I'm currently housebreaking her so I keep all of her stuff by the front door right by the door so we can just head out I don't keep it down here but once she's housebroken it'll be in here in the second shelf on this cabinet is where I keep all the extras. So there are the extra leashes and then the couplers and then extra harnesses and collars and then the seatbelt attachment. Here in this back corner is Bam Bam's crate and I keep the fleece blankets on top. So the one in the back is for Bailey and Cupcake and Coco and then the one in the front is for Bam Bam and Yogi. This is Yogi's crate here and I just keep um, his medicine in that bin there. And this is my to-do box and all it has in it is the calendar for next year. I hung up two of the dog walking bags down here along with the boarding bags. And in this drawer unit is where I keep all of the records. It um, has each of their name on it and it's all of their records. And I just put the new stuff on top so it stays in order. Above the grooming table I have a picture that my sister drew of Coco. The calendar for this year. The pet schedule for everybody and then Coco's grooming schedule. Across the top of the grooming desk I have um, the combs and brushes for the boys and then everybody's little finger toothbrushes are in here. Then I just keep um, the toothbrushes for Cupcake and the toothpaste in there. These are her little ponytail holders, um, her bows, and then the grooming treats are there. This is Coco's little caddy here and then her um, top knot pillow, the grooming mats, and then the shelf underneath just has baby wipes and q-tips and cotton balls and um, hand sanitizer. A little trash can. The bin on top of these two units here um, is the travel bin so all the stuff where I need to board any of the dogs or if any of the dogs are coming with us that's all the stuff that's in there. In this first unit on top here I have um, Coco's closet which I've done a video on so just some of her collars and her costumes and dresses and stuff harnesses and her tags. So this top drawer was more of like like shelving 
and so this one's more of um, drawer storage. So the first one is medical. Now I got rid of a lot of medicine that had expired, so this is what's left. A thermometer and some syringes and fecal sample collecting containers. This is what I use to crush pills. It's just a small ceramic bowl and a spoon and you just break the pill up in there. And then the medications that are left. The next drawer are um, scissors and nail trimmers. I have my um, clippers and my blades there. And this last drawer is just storage um, boxes. And this cabinet here, I have um, flea tick and heartworm prevention, extra dental stuff, and then um, first aid here. And in this bottom one, I have um, small shampoo and conditioner containers that I travel with, a refill of conditioner, ear cleaners, eye protectant, and colognes, and then all of my large gallon refills for shampoo, conditioner, and ear cleaner. By the door, I have um, Coco's carrier, and then the dog day bag. I have the food um, storage, so the larger one is Bam Bam, Yogi, and Cupcake because they're on a senior food, and then the smaller one I keep in two separate bags inside of the container is Coco's food and then Bailey's puppy food. Behind the door is my um, grooming stuff, so I have my apron for when I'm giving baths, and then when I'm actually cutting hair, I have um, these pants and this shirt here, which is like made out of like a repair repellent material. So in addition to the pet room, uh, another thing I wanted to show you was the puppies area. So this is just in the hallway, it's just a large um, playpen that has a tarp down and everything. And it just has all of her stuff. I'm currently just using this bin to keep all of her stuff organized. So, well not all of her stuff, but the stuff that I need upstairs. So have her um, food, which is the wellness puppy and some larger toys, some puppy pads, and then um, paper towels. I also keep her, um, some of her chew toys in here, but I had to clean them there in the bathroom. And then downstairs, which I'll show you, I'm not gonna show you in detail because I'm gonna do a separate video on it, but I'll show you um, her walking, housebreaking situation. Okay, so this is, um, where I keep Bailey's stuff right now because I'm housebreaking her. I don't want to show um, what's inside just yet because um, I'm going to do a complete video on how I'm housebreaking her because it's something I haven't done with the other dogs. So just so that you can see, um, her dog walking station is directly by the door that I take her out of. So there is just no time for error. The minute she gives me the signal that she has to go to the bathroom, I don't want her to use the bathroom in the house. So I just take her out <laughs> so I just have my shoes and the stuff I need and then we go out the door so yeah that was the pet room tour <laughs> cupcake was our guide so um, if you like this please um, comment and like and subscribe and thank you for watching bye